What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 Wastelanders video. So in the last video, uh, we ended up on a weird situation. Um, the game server actually failed to respond, so it kicked us off the server. So we're basically going to go in and continue on the whole little beginning portion of the game. We're definitely at the very end of that little quest line. Uh, part so it shouldn't be too much longer in there. I know this is probably the most boring part of the game but um, The whole tutorial portion, but we don't have that much longer So let's go ahead and just jump into this gameplay and get through that so that we can Progress into some more interesting things to say the least so first things first though do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow So with that being said, let's jump into it all right, so we are back into Flatwoods. Uh, okay, it looks like it did save our progress. So cook a ribeye steak. And then there's this lovely lady again. Chloe's my pet. We know, we've established this already. All right, so let's go ahead and sit down. I should hopefully still have a good piece of... Wait, no, wait. I don't have a piece of Brahmin meat, do I? I don't. Alright, so I have to either kill a Brahmin. But I think there's a dead one around here somewhere. Yep, right there. Get a piece of Brahmin meat. No. Alright, looks like I have to kill this guy. Well, I mean, made my life a little easier by standing there. Don't mind if I do. But right now, I must come over here and start cooking. All right, uh, food, ribeye steak. Actually, let's go ahead and take advantage and cook all of our food. Cause we are probably gonna get hungry soon. Check in with the self-service kiosk. All right, excuse me, young lady. All right, our right, complete training. Uh, congratulations, volunteer. Granting access to the responders database. Done. Woo! Um, is that it? All right. Responders. Log in, I'm assuming. Volunteer, yeah, because before it only said uh, guest. Emergency contact responders HQ Yay leveled up too. all right a large horde of scorched is on the move and Might be headed for our main base at Morgantown All personnel are requested to report to HQ as soon as possible bring weapons and medical supplies Maria Chavez connection terminated dun 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 restricted messages Training volunteers. Uh, by now, everyone has heard about what happened with Casey and the two young survivors that survived from Sutton. It's tragic. There are no words, but he just didn't know. And they trusted him to know. So we've decided that all volunteers must now start as volunteer candidates first. And during this time, we go over the basics now. Food, water, and and that sort of training. Casey decided to travel into the mountains to clear his head. We tried to persuade him to stay, but it's his choice. We hope he'll return soon. Self-service kiosk. The new kiosk should help us handle additional volunteers. Should any arrive. Uh, lately, most of the survivors are too injured to help themselves let alone others, but they see the kiosk as a sign that people will be arriving soon to help. We need that hope. All right, kiosk bugs. The self-service kiosk seems to have some issues. The message of the day keeps cycling every hour and every time I add a new volunteer. It doesn't save the profile or send the information to the admin terminal interviews 
uh, we are the survivors, folks. We are learning how to live here, and we need to uh, preserve and distribute this knowledge. Do you know uh, how to make clothing from animal hide? Determine a good berry from a poisonous one? Uh, let's talk about it. Let's tell the world what we have learned. Welcome. Welcome, responders and volunteers. Thanks for working with us. As you know, we are trying to cope with the influx of survivors that need our help. The new volunteer program is going to help us con uh, concentrate our medical help while volunteers focus on basic survival needs. We are also collecting data for the responder database, which will help us rebuild Appalachia one day. So please contribute data whenever you can. All right. Second helpings complete. What am I stuck on? Oh, that stupid chair. Let's see what we get for completing this quest. Tinker's workbench. Don't I have the plans for that already? Actually, no, I had, um, oh, I could level. Did I level up again? No, I don't think so. Investigate the responders uh, base at Morgantown Airport. All right, sounds good. I think... Um, I got the chemistry workbench last time, so now I got the tinkers workbench. Wasn't I supposed to get the uh, responders jumpsuit here? Interesting. It looks like they took that out of the game. It's either that or I didn't get it because I don't have it in my inventory. But then again, uh, that one lady said that she found a copy in one of these houses. And we actually technically didn't inspect the entire place. Oh, three caps. Don't mind if I do. So let's just do some light. Oh, I'm sore all over. <laughs> oh, dude, it's another. It's Open another. This place up is hard work. Look at all these freaking settlers, dude. That's amazing. Yes, sir. You have a good day. I love the fact that there's freaking human NPCs now. Um. Let's see here. Oh, nice try there, buddy. All right, so just so you know, uh, I'm in my own private server now. Um, I definitely didn't. I don't like being in worlds with other people uh, when I'm recording. I do when I'm not recording. Like, I play in a regular world uh, when I'm not recording. But when I'm recording, I like to play... In a private world, man. It just makes life so much easier. Let's check this building. Maybe we'll find some new things around here. And it doesn't really look like it, does it? It all looks exactly the same. Remember them? I'm assuming these are all dead people. Oh, I forgive you, Dad. Sorry, nothing helps. I'm not going to read those because I'm sure those are fucking depressing and I don't really want to get depressed yeah. all right um no nah, I don't I don't know where I'm gonna find the responders jumpsuit I mean I have a few copies man in on my alt character I have played this game multiple times we're gonna check the gym downstairs in a second but Oh, it's another settler. Yeah, got to prepare for even more settlers moving in. That's amazing. All right, let's check in here. Oh, I still had the uh, the light on. I'll take that, I suppose. Alarm clock, sure, why not? Um. All right. Let's go downstairs and check the gym. Oh, there's a hollow tape in here. How dare you? All right, play. Ah, all day. Free 
sets of 12 rips. Let's see. Dumbbell bicep curls, tricep extensions, and back extensions. Yeah, real need about the lack of proper equipment. No bother. Chin up. Only eight more luxury coffins to make quota in backwards. I mean, flatwoods. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like we got another survivor story, so let's listen to that. Existing line. Great. Hello, survivors of this garbage dump. I'm Sophie, and this is my stupid survivor story. Dumb shit go. Oh, yeah. Before the bomb, I was a librarian, and now I can read everything all the time. I'm lucky. Wait, no, no. Maybe. There's one of those farmers who prepared for the end times. Some sort of religious thing. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, no, I, I got you. I was a sweet little kid and lived off some cat food containers in a super duper mart for months near my parents' rotting carcasses. Nobody came. Nobody. I learned how to deal. You should too. The responders are a joke. Nobody helps anybody anymore. Get a grip. If you're not a total idiot, you'll get out of this dump before the responders get you killed. Leave the sick behind. We're better off. Trust me. Whiny babies. Stay here and play make believe, but anyone with half a brain will go up to the mountains and drop the dead weight. Delbert already tries his own. Sorry. Say nobody will be around to teach you how to eat shit now, Flatwoods. <laughs> Bye, suckers. Love always, Sophie. She's so violent, my god. What the hell's wrong with her? Do I hear another feral ghoul? Yep, there he is. Um, all right. <laughs> that was weird the way he died, but uh, you know what? Who cares? All right, let's go ahead and start making our way towards the Morgantown Airport. I wonder if you can still get the uh, that one anti-armor pistol uh, or handgun. It's um. I forgot what it's called, man. It's a for it's a it's a revolver. Can't remember. It was a pretty cool pistol, though. Uh, I mean, nothing spectacular. It's only a one star, but that'd be pretty cool if they updated it and now it's like three star weapon or something. Doubt it, though. I still have all of the. The survival weapons, man. When survival mode weapons was a thing where, like, if you do a certain amount of challenges, they'll give you a free, you know, three-star legendary max weapon. I still have them all. With the exception of the first two because I, didn't, I wasn't doing those the first two. I totally forgot that that was a thing until, until obviously it became a thing. And then I started doing them. It was actually pretty cool. I wish Bethesda would keep doing this stuff like that, man. Oh god, we got a feral. Oh no, we got a mongrels. What do you want? Where are you? Away with you, heathen! Where did he die? I want his meat. I mean, I'll take. Oh, I didn't want that, but give me the logs, damn it! I legit have no idea where this dog went. Oh, he's right here. Got him. I mean, so far, they it, it kind of feels like... 
like nothing major changed when it comes to uh like when it comes to uh like old established locations so i think oh wait, hold on i forgot i have this Oh, Scrounger, level 2. Either way, I'm still going to have to upgrade my luck. Alright, let's start over here. Nothing. Uh, Green Thumb could come in handy, but no. No. Lone Wanderer. Uh, Wanderer, absolutely. There's no way I'm not getting that. Yeah, so maybe after I'm done with the Morgantown Airport... Part of the quest line, I'm probably gonna go back and do Wayward Souls. See how that turns out, you know? So we shall see. Should probably drink some water. Here we go. And eat some food, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's eat some dog food. And a funnel cake. The nastiest freaking meal in the world. But you know what? It's all good. It's the apocalypse, man. It's not like we have very many options to choose from. There's no such thing as a four-star or five-star meal anymore. Looks like we got some feral ghouls. Well, actually, while we're in Sutton... Um, we should go to the overseer's old house. I want a good automatic weapon, man. You bastard. You shot, or you hurt me. Alright. What the hell happened to this lady? Volunteers needed. Uh, the Responder Survivors Program is now uh, offering basic and advanced training free fuel. All right, we we already know all of this. Appalachini. All right, don't mind if I take all of your junk. I feel like someone or something is gonna pop out of the corner at any given time. Don't know why. Uh, 44 ammo. Honestly, I shouldn't even take this. It's a terrible idea. Oh, it looks like there's another. I'll wait a whole nother hour for that food to reheat. Really, dude? It looks hot out here, and you're wearing ski outfit. Everyone is hungry. Only way we can survive. You're not in foundation. Alright, well let's go over here. Looks like they really did add NPCs to like everything. At least that's what it feels like. My god, life sucks without freaking marsupial. But I'm halfway tempted, if I'm completely honest, in doing a non-mutated build with this character. It's going to be so much there. It's going to feel so different, but I don't know. I kind of feel like doing it. Should be pretty interesting to say the least. How far are we anyways? Oh God, there we go. Oh, we still got ways to go. Alright, uh, no big deal. Gives us an opportunity to potentially meet new NPCs on the way. Oh, not going in there. Although, this is a pretty. This is actually a pretty decent location 
Fuck it. This is my new camp. Wait, hold on. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna make this my camp. Uh, do I have five caps? I do. So let's not go. Oops. I'm gonna say right here. All right, let's move this to the very edge of our camp. And let's actually build. Uh, my god, this character has nothing. Let's build that. And hope... I don't have circuitry, so I'm not going to be able to build a generator. Alright, not circuitry. Copper. Alright, well, so much for that. I don't have bed. I don't have anything. I really should. Uh, I really should uh, start picking up a lot of junk, huh? Oh, well. It is what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it looks like we're getting close to the Morgantown Airport. So that's good. I wonder what we're going to find there. If there's any more people that want to be responders. <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I know they changed the lighting. But I think the lighting might have done wonders for this game, dude. Because ever since they, like, redid the, the, the lighting and everything like that, dude, the game just runs better. And it looks better, in my opinion. I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If this, uh... Lighting overhaul helped out with the whole graphical fidelity behind this game's engine. Bureau of Ter uh, to Terrorism. Why do I always want to say terrorism? Oh, God. Say something else. And I'll take your strap, homeboy. Uh, Responder's cache. Don't mind if I do. I don't really need healing self. I mean, I guess I do since I'm not mutated. Alright, we, well, while we're here, we might as well find the, the responders' caches. I already know where they are. One of them is up here. What's up? Oh, God, I just got blasted. No, come here. Dude, you guys are all freaking dropping like flies. Stop moving. Oh, how did I miss that? Here, Scorchy, Scorchy. It was a nice try, but, uh, sorry to break it to you. Let's take all this stuff for scrapping purposes. Where did that other guy go? Um... I don't know. I have no idea where he went. I know he's outside somewhere, but... I hear him. Haha. -ha. All of that is for literally scrap scrapping purposes. So, I'm probably going to be over in Cumber here shortly because I'm literally picking up all the weapons and stuff. Alright, and we got a bed to sleep in. Alright, wooden chest piece. I don't really want a wooden chest piece. Alright, let's go take a nap really fast. That way we can at least heal up uh, the little bit of health that we have lost. Oh no. Don't find me. 
don't find me. I'm willing to bet he's actually coming up right now. Is he shooting at me? Or at least attempting to? So I got the well rested perch, so now I get to... Oh god, they're here. They're here. Get off your ass! There's another one. That's all you got? God, there is a lot of them, aren't there? Alright, fuck it, let's go downstairs. We already got the second cache. So the third one is in a storage container on the far side. Hiya! Where's he at? Do I just matrix that? Oh god. That was like the battle of the reload. I'm almost level 5 too. Alright, I hear someone else. Oh! You startled me, you bastard. So it looks like this place is cleared. I am going to go discover that train station, but first things first, let's go get this cash. Oh, God. It's literally right over there, but... Alright, hold on, let's go get it, actually. Right there. That's good enough. Wait, did I just level up? I did. Um, you have reached level five. Combat with other players enabled. Teammate, event mate. Okay, so yellow work together. Uh, player strangers, uh, team up, trade or attack. Enemies, killer can be killed. No damage re reduction. Oh crap. Uh, left stick. Let's go through everything. Iron Fist, no thank you. Perception, pick lock, no thank you. We'll do later though. All food satisfies an additional 25%. No bodyguards, no. Licensed plumber. Moving target. Serendipity. I, I might get this. I might get serendipity. Um, actually, I'll get Lone Wanderer. I think Lone Wanderer is more important for the damage resistance. There we go. Plus, who knows? Maybe we'll get some cool uh, speech checks. What is this? I already know that. If you come over here scorched, you're going to die. I just hope you know and understand that. Psycho tats. Tried warning you. But you guys don't want to listen to me. And you guys always think you know better than everyone else. Alright, let's go to the train station. Let's go check that out real quick. Plus, there's always a workbench at the train station too, so... At bare minimum, we'll be able to... Uh, Scrap all our stuff. Don't get too many rads. Oh, we didn't get any rads. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, what workbench is here? I can't remember. I I, I want to say it's a tinker's workbench, or a chemistry workbench, or something like that. I don't know. We'll find out here in a second. Chemistry. Hell yeah. I don't need it, but hell yeah. Alright, let me get equipped the best. So far, that one. Alright, yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start scrapping. It's a lot. I like that it doesn't, well, at least it hasn't yet, but it jumps around. My god, I'm getting all the mods. Woohoo! 
you know what I should have uh, built at my camp? That one, uh, what is it called? The uh, scrap box. Because I am a member of Fallout first. Oh, I saw you. Is he scared? Oh, God. Oh, God. There's so many of them. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. Leave me alone! I'm running. Run away! Let's hide behind this train station really fast. And take a freak well. Fuck it. Healing salve it is. Now let's get back into this action. Fuck you, scorched. Where are you at? Shoot, damn it. Oh god. That was a close one. All because my damn game decided to miss. You know what? Let's eat. Um, stim pack. Ah, that was actually really, really close, man. Kind of scary, as a matter of fact. All right, let's go in here. Since this is where our quest is, Morgantown Airport. I wonder if they changed the interior at all. Um. Does it really seem like it? Oh! Where'd you come from? Leave me alone! Only us? Only me, asshole. Very nice. God, they sound disgusting. Responder corpse. Um. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I read about that. That it does. Like when you have scrounger or something like that, it does that automatically now. I'll take all of this. Only because... Yeah, see? It does it by itself. It's fucking awesome, dude. It'll be easier to remember to actually get the ammo. Woo! I don't see myself using most of this stuff, to be honest. Um... Oh, where'd you come from? There's another guy right here. Where are you going? I got something to give you. So I am going with the Vats build too, just so you know. I do like Vats. Even in Fallout 76, man, to be honest, I was actually kind of surprised nobody liked it. Or at least a lot of people didn't like it when the game first, first came out. I mean, I automatically knew that was never a thing that was going to be one of those uh uh like it's going to freeze time you know what i mean even in the old fallout games it was that wasn't the case we were just limited to the uh like the game engine mechanics back then oh god oh god dude that was close That was really close. Let's take all of this for scrapping, dude. We gotta really be careful, though. Terminal. All right, we can we can hack. Oops. No, no. Yes, I'm a guesser. I just hope nobody comes and attacks me while I'm trying to do this. 
All right, fork. Let's gold. Nothing. Blue. I feel like Piper's talking to me right now. How you holding up, Blue? No. Oh. I'll figure it out eventually. Like now. Open door. Was this even worth it? Where does this lead to? Uh, pipe bolt action rifle. Alright, hot plate. Sure, why not? Cigarette. No, thank you. Um. I don't, I don't like the diluteds, man. Believe it or not. Molded plastic. abso freaking lootly Boiled water, I mean, I suppose. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, come on. Oh, dude, that was close. We almost got locked out. Where are they at? Die! My god, the reload animation for this gun is ridiculous. Alright, let's chill. Go! Is that everybody? I think it is for now, at least. Was that a better version of my gun? Pipe bolt action rifle. Why do these have different amounts? Oh, it's probably the magazine size. Wait a minute. Bolt action rifle. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. So let's continue on. Maybe we'll... Okay, so there should be a body downstairs with a key in her hand. But first, die. Oh, God, where'd you come from? Scared the hell out of me. He literally came out of nowhere. All right, uh, you give me that. Morgantown security card. Don't mind if I do. Uh, closet note. Be quiet. They don't know we're here. A re... Oh, are we all that's left? I think so. What do we do? They'll all leave eventually, right? We could be in here for a few days. Uh, what other options do we have? We're screwed no matter what. I'll distract them for long enough for you to escape. Just give us some time. I'm doing this. Uh, be ready. Please. No. No. So I'm kind of curious. Was she talking to herself? Or was she writing a note to someone else? Interesting question we have here. All right, so let's go this way because now we should be able to go upstairs. Well, first things first, though, let's take another freaking... Well, actually, let's eat and drink. There we go. At least get some health back, too. Let us in the metal door. Oh, I see you. Nice try. Oh, I thought I was going to get him in the running by. Oh, like that. That guy's legendary, it says. Hopefully we get a nice legendary drop that's low level so that we can use right now. Preferably a laser rifle. Goodbye. Um, 
Okay, he doesn't have a legendary item. That's nice. He didn't have a star on him though. He just had that legendary thing. Prefix, but that's it. Well, this looks a little different. All right. Let's go ahead and scrap all this stuff, dude, since I'm ridiculously overweight. Oops. All right. Uh, I still don't know that the difference is between these two. I don't know. I guess it's not that important. Let's go from down up. I think it'll be easier that way. Oh man, I just scrapped my knives. My throwing knives. Scrap or craft clothing, armor, weapons. 50. Damn, that was quick. Sick. I don't want the diluteds. Alright, let's listen to this. Overseer's Lock, Morgantown. Overseer's Lock, Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. Batman. Breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this. But we need to consider all our options. Even the nukes. We find the source of this scorched plague and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. First things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the Overseer. Signing off. Awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and read this really fast. Concerns. Oh, Dasa, that's from uh, from Flatwoods. That one girl that did the uh, that started the whole historical uh, thing for the Hollow Notes of the Survivor stories and stuff like that. So, uh, Dasa, I have serious concerns about the food everyone has been eating. Good Lord, the cows have two heads. <laughs> uh, I'm taking over some of the local gardens to monitor the plants too. Uh, maybe we shouldn't show anybody how to cook with this kind of food. Did you see the tomatoes? If or it's not right, or maybe it's right now. Hell, I don't know anymore. Dun dun dun. All right, I want to talk to this dude. That's what I want to do. Interact. Don Terrell Haynes. What the fuck? <laughs> well, well. No, wait. Well, well. Another visitor to the responder's graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. I mean, I hold my own. To pay your respects to the fallen. It's peaceful here. Quiet, too. I like that. Before the war, the world was just too loud. Hey. What? Get up. I'm trying to talk to you, guy. Fucking rude. Oh, my God. All right. Forget you. I'll come back to you later. Let's listen to this really fast, then. Hey, everyone. This is Derek. Making my final report on the events at Harper's Ferry. Hopefully this reaches you 
well safely. Whatever happened here, it, it was big. The whole area is it's, it's devastated. If any of our people survived, I, I can't find a trace of them. I talked to some of the locals. They say creatures came from the sky and laid waste to the town. Some of the ones who got hurt in the attack were transformed or something. They apparently turned into monsters and attacked anyone they could reach. Ronnie says he and his people are gonna seal themselves up in their bunkers and try to figure out a way to fight these creatures. In other words, we won't be getting any more help from these Free States guys. Maria, I was hoping you could get in touch with Ella, see if maybe she can lean on Raleigh a little, get him to see that this isn't the way. Me. I think it's damn selfish of them to turn their backs on the rest of us. When people who need their help to survive, uh, there's nothing else I can do here. Unless we can scratch Harper's Ferry off the map. I'll be heading back soon. But I want to check in on some of the farms along the way. Should be about a week. Somehow I don't think he made it. Alright, I want to talk to that guy, dude. All right, well, I guess we have no choice but to talk to him through here. If I could talk to him through here. Nope, he's bugged. Oh, there we go. Talk well, to me. Well, well. Another visitor to the Responder's Graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. Well, I mean, you know. Come to pay your respects to the Fallen? Not really. Um. Who are you? Name's Dontrell. Dontrell Haynes. I got a brother around here somewhere, or maybe somewhere else. Oh, God. All I know, he was one of these responders. Came to check on him. It was a few years too late, looks like. Now, I'm just marking time while the cancer eats me up from inside. Oh, my God. In the end, none of us can escape our fate. That's heartbreaking. We'll all be food for the world. Damn, that's why we have to make our lives count for something, right? That's just the kind of thing Marcus would say. Me, I just looked out for myself. Now I'm still alive, and he's long gone. Did his life count for something? I don't really know. He and other responders saved a lot of folks, but they all died eventually. Now they all dust in memory. Even those will fade in time. Anyway, guess you listen to me ramble on long enough by now. What can this old man do for you? That was heartbreaking. Um. Damn, look at this. I wonder. Intelligence 4? I wonder if I could take a chem. Got a chill in you, though. Do I have any mentats? Psychotats? So, intelligence plus what? Oh, he's going back to bed, damn it. Um, I don't know. Psychotats, man. Uh, it doesn't say anything about intelligence. Let's take it and then check our stats. Psycho tats. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Our intelligence is still one. We're pretty dumb. <laughs> what was the other one? The other one was charisma, right? All right, let's see if we have anything to raise charisma, like some alcohol or something. Sugar bombs, ribeye steak. Endurance, no. No, nah, it doesn't look like we have anything. Alright. Oh, well. Let's finish this conversation, darn troll. We're not well, finished here. Oh, well. Another visitor? Yes. You must be pretty good to... Yes, I am. Uh, Alright, let's go Name through the same dialogue. 
Are you gonna work or? I think I just broke it. <laughs> All right, let's leave and come back in. Let's not break it this time. Well, well, another visitor to the responders graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. To come to pay your respects to the fallen? Uh, like you said, I'm here to pay my respects. That's good. It's important to honor the memories of those we lost. I got a brother around here, somewhere, or maybe somewhere else. All I know is one of these responders. Came to check on him. It was a few years too late, looks like. Now, I'm just marking time while the cancer eats me up from inside. In the end, none of us can escape our fate. We'll all be food for the worm. Um, that's why we gotta make our lives count for something. That's just the kind of thing Marcus would say. Me, I just looked out for myself. No, I'm still alive. And he's long gone. Did his life count for something? I don't really know. He and other responders saved a lot of folks. But they all died eventually. Now they all dust in memory. And even those will fade in time. Anyway. Guess you've listened to me ramble on long enough by now. What can this old man do for you? That's yeah, so heartbreaking. Uh, can you answer some questions for me? What would you like to know? Uh, you mentioned a brother. Marcus, five years young. Start running back in high school. And handsome, too. Had all the ladies chasing him. He followed me into the army. Became an MP. Hey, me too. Then got out and moved to Morgantown. Signed up with the police. Back then, I was still living in Cincinnati. We talk on the radio. He tried to get me to come out here and join the responders more than once. I do miss him. That's what I was. I was a military police officer for the army. That's pretty cool. Uh, this place is dangerous. Why do you stay here? Well, I think I got a good idea. I don't figure it matters much how dangerous this place is. If one of those mutants don't get me, cancer will. But I guess what keeps me here just knowing this is where my brother died. Call me a superstitious old I knew fool, it. but I want my spirit to have to walk too far to find his. Man, this guy's story is heartbreaking, dude. I feel bad for him, man. He's got cancer and his brother died. So the only peace in life that he's getting is just living where his brother died? That's sad. Uh, what do you know about this area? I know it's a ruined wasteland. Filled with a hundred things to want to eat. It's better this way. Less noise, less fun, just echo. In time, nature takes it all back. One day, nobody will know there was ever a city here. In the short term, well, you got the train station with the robot who can sell you supplies. And south of that, the train yard might be good for salvage. And of course, Morgantown's just across the river. Probably lots of useful stuff over there, if you can survive. All right, uh, tell me more about the responders. They used to be cops, firefighters, medics. Marcus always made them sound like good folk. They looked after other people as best they could. This was their base, as far as I can tell. They got overrun by those things out in the hall. Found a few bodies in here. And it was a lady named Chavez. Got a hollow tape she made on that map table. Last words by the sound of it. I ain't been here that long, so that's about all I know. Damn. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Time's all I got left. But I don't mind sharing it. You be safe out there. Yeah. Keep your head up, man. You're a good guy, dude. All right. So. That's why what he said about the responders and stuff like that, that's why they're called the responders because they were first responders like medics and uh, uh, what are they called? 
firefighters and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and uh, actually, you know what? We're already pretty close to an hour, so we're going to have to leave it here right now. In the last video, we're going to continue on with this. And we're probably going to finish by doing the inoculation project. And then we're probably going to do Wayward Souls after that. So if that's something you're excited for, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already because it really does help this channel grow. And in turn, uh, makes YouTube's algorithm a little bit more favorable for my channel. Thus helping the channel grow. So if you could do that for me, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.